Angela? Um, yeah, I guess we can. Um, Are you set up to record? The, it's already recording. Okay. This microphone can be turned on by pressing a button or something. Just <laughs> There's a switch on the oh, side. Yeah. I'll get my uh, iPad yes. because it's got the words. Ah. And my phone because it's got the other words. <laughs> well, in other words. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. in a month 
I did it the easy way. <laughs> I did nano rhymer. I, I write very small rhyming poetry. <laughs> <laughs> Some of my favorite ones. Um, well, just to start with, because I, I started it again on January 1st this year. <coughs> Don't worry that you might incur these sentences. This person's unworthy. Just try what you wish and try plenty and have a great year 2020. Um, how about actually uh, between each one? Maybe clap once, just to <laughs> and I'll like do this or something to show that it's over because you can't tell when it's over. <laughs> Dear Father, a prayer I remember, amen. Another, sincere from a vendor, again. As if by reciting just 10 or 11 words, I'll lift myself quite transcendentally heavenwards. <laughs> While you're growing in the field, all your goodness is concealed. Till some lovely creature picks you, doesn't think they have to fix you, lets you chill, let down your shield. Then, when you are fully peeled, your sweetest inner self revealed, that cunning rascal bites and licks you. <laughs> Some may say that art's non-vital, mere indulgence for the idle. But while we breathe with no recital, without reprieve, we're suicidal. <laughs> That's kind of a sad one. Which one is one I like? Oh, here's a, here's a silly one. And I think, actually, there's a character... Um, Joseph wrote me a postcard oh, no. <laughs> about a, uh, a spray bottle, a sentient spray bottle <laughs> named Bernard. This is not about that, but let's pretend it is. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I, I, I should explain it. Uh, I, I made a rhyming dictionary. It's at rhyme.science, and it will tell you which rhymes uh, need specific accents to work and stuff like that. And uh, I added a, ra a random rhyme button to it. So most of these poems are inspired by pressing the random rhyme button, getting like two or three words that rhyme, and then trying to fit them into a, into a poem. Uh, so anyway, I, I got... Well, you'll, you'll probably guess which one is the random rhyme because it's a big one. <laughs> a tree would never leave you. It's your steadfast, loyal bud. A tree would never leave you. It will root for you, come hail or flood. A tree would never leave you. It's as solid as hardwood. A tree would never leave you, but Bernard would. <laughs> Kipling's if, um, but uh, if you see a proposition, apply to it your intuition, at length exerting full cognition, come to trivial fruition, and restart with a new suspicion, then you'll be a mathematician. <laughs> how, about, how many more minutes do I have? Probably only one, so maybe I should go to my last one. Yeah, maybe one more. Okay. Well then, the next one is, is a little bit of a song parody, and because it's my last one, it's a parody of the last song that we hear at the final concert on Joker Cruise. Oh. It's, just, it's just like one a little bit of it, and I can't sing it very well, but just imagine this is to the tune of Sloop John B. Have some more whoops on me, hearing the Sloop John B. As Joko Cruz comes to an end, you still have all night. Hang loose or sleep tight. Well, we feel so broke up, but you'll stay my friend. Aww.